breaking Nigerian government plans to secretly murder Namde Kano uncovered. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. The federal government of Nigeria has embarked on a secret and unlawful mission to get rid of Mazen Namde Kano in their custody. One of the plans uncovered is the information headline contained in the screenshot below, which said that Namde Kano has escaped from custody. A blunted lie they intentionally hacked to execute an evil mission. Namde Khan did not escape from any custody. The DSS facilities where he is arbitrarily had is guided day and night by hefty men of the DSS and are heavily armed. Aside the fact that it is impossible for one to escape unnoticed. From that DSS facilities, Namde Kano cannot sneak himself out of detention because he is not a criminal. He believes in equity and justice, and it is one of those things he is fighting for. So he cannot sneak himself out of the custody, just like he did not sneak himself in. Also, it is 100 percent impossible to escape from a well guarded facilities like DSS. The federal government of Nigeria purposely came up with that headline so that they will monitor the reaction of the people, especially the reaction of IPOB members so as to know the best time to execute their plan which is to use the process to secretly murder Namde Kano and dispose his body. Once that is done, they will turn around and tell the public that since Namde Kano escaped from their custody, that they have not found him. Namde Kano is under their case, under their care, and till today he is unlawfully held in their custody. They must not murder him by any means and think that we won't know. He did not escape from the DSS dungeon and he is not planning to escape because he is not scared of Nigerian court. He is still intact in custody and should we look for him and did not find him, Nigerian government will have a very heavy price to pay us. Namde Kano was adopted by the federal government of Nigeria from Kenya in 2021. Since then, they have had him incommunicado in the DSS custody on that solitary confinement in Abuja. The public should not be deceived. Namde Kano did not escape from the DSS custody, and he is not planning to escape either. The federal government of Nigeria is still holding him, but they are desperately looking for any available means to murder him, which they won't succeed because the eyes that are watching over Namde Kano are uncountable and are not sleeping at all. Any day we demand for Namde Kano, the federal government of Nigeria and their DSS must provide him to us hell and Harry as he was when they adopted him in Kenya almost four years ago the problem here is that legit as always propagate fake news likewise daily post who has continued to refer ipub and the eastern security network as this organization even after he was warned. Today, he has come again to claim that Namde Kano escaped. Escaped. That is what he said. That he left with his case file. This is legit. Is that worse? 
He said that I probably the name the colonel is killed from DSS custody in Abuja. He claimed fat he marches. He claimed fat he marches. And why is that it? The same claim have appeared online saying Biafra leader Mas Nam de Kano has escaped from DSS custody with a case file. The posters said that probably the alleged escape was executed with a meticulous plan and a precision catching the authorities off guard. <laughs> a fact checking platform investigated the claim and shared its funding in a report published on Thursday, June 13. Now you can understand. You can understand now what we are talking about. That this legit of a guy is full of propaganda. First of all, Namde Kano did not escape anywhere. Namde Kano is a man who believes so much in justice. This is why he continued to stay in custody to make sure that his people is liberated. But people like legit cannot allow Nandekar to rest. And so many of them, so many, when I mean so many, there are so many of them who disturbs him day and night. Seeing all sort of trash against him. This is a man who has been in custody for almost four years now. For committing nothing. Because he wants the freedom of his people. And those flying terrorists who are moving around with AK-47, nobody is kidnapping them, nobody is arresting them. But these people went all the way to Kenya to kidnap him and they kind of brought him back home. And someone like Legit, who is so dumb, is going around uh, publishing such rubbish. Like I said, he should be sued. When I mean suing, he should be sued. For dragging down the canal in such a manner. A man who has done nothing but to stand by his people. And this is one of the things the so called leaders don't like him because Namde Kano is a great man. He is a great man. And he remained the great man you used to know. But I am sure that no matter what they do, no man can stop his shining. No man can stop his shining. They wanted to destroy all he has created, including the Islamic Security Network. But they fail. This time around, all they know how to do is lie from here to here. So what I'm saying in this sense is this. He should be arrested, sued to court, instead of giving him chance to amend whatever it is he wants to amend. To come out to voice and say that what he said was a lie. Such man will never say anything good truth when it comes to this issue because he was well taken care of. That is the truth. But we must make sure that everything is well taken care of. So that is it. That's exactly what it is. I don't want to go further in this. I think I've come to the end of this. Thank you so much for watching.